Hi, welcome back to my channel Nest Bags and Cooks. Today I'm going to show you how to make a chocolate ganache cake, which is full of chocolatey taste and flavor. So let's get started. First, we are going to bake the chocolate cakes. So in this bowl, I'm going to take around 200 gram of all-purpose flour. And I'm going to take around 50 gram of cocoa powder. Into this, I'm going to add two teaspoons of baking powder. And one teaspoon of baking soda. I'm going to sieve the dry ingredients first. Let's keep this aside and start with the wet ingredients. I'm going to break two eggs and separate the egg yolks. Here I add two tablespoons of sugar. Sugar you can add as per your taste. Now I'm going to beat the egg white till it becomes fluffy. Let's check by reversing the bowl. You can see it's not dripping, isn't it? So it's done. Here are the egg yolks. I'm going to add one at a time and beat the egg yolks into the egg white. Now I add the second egg yolk. It's done. Now let's keep this aside and take a separate bowl. Into this, I'm going to pour around 120 ml of oil. I'm adding around 1 tablespoon of sugar. And here I add 60 ml of coffee liquor. And I'm going to mix the ingredients once. Now I add 240 ml of fresh milk. I'm going to add the dry ingredients now. I'm going to add in two batches. So this is the second batch. They are well incorporated, you can see. Now I'm going to mix the egg white in two batches. Now the second batch. We have to be very careful while mixing the egg white. Always mix slowly with cut and fold method like this. It 
it's done now. Now let's get ready with the baking mold. Here I have an 8 inch baking mold. Before pouring the batter I'm going to grease it with some butter and later on dust it with some flour. Instead of this you can even use parchment paper or butter paper and place it at the bottom so that the cake will not stick but I prefer do it like this. If we dust with flour like this, the cake doesn't stick at the bottom. It's done. Now I'm going to pour the batter. I have already preheated the oven for 10 minutes. Let's tap two, three times so that there are no air bubbles in it. Now I'm going to bake this at 150 degrees centigrade for around 45 to 50 minutes. Just now I have taken out from the oven, you can see it's nicely baked. No cracks on top and it has a flat top, isn't it? Let's check by inserting a toothpick in the center. The toothpick has come out clean. This shows that the cake is nicely baked from inside also. Let the cake cool down. In the meantime, Let's start with the whipping cream. I've taken around 500 gram. I'm going to whip this till I get a stiff peak. So you can see the stiff peak, isn't it? Here I add around three tablespoons of melted chocolate. And I'm going to beat this again. Now I add two tablespoons of cocoa powder and mix all the ingredients very thoroughly. It's done. The cake has cooled down. So now I'm going to slice the cake. I have bagged three cakes. So all together there will be six layers. Look at the texture of the cake. I'm going to drizzle the cake with some milk, but before that, let's slice the other cakes also. Now I'm going to drizzle the slices with some milk.
here I spread the whipped cream. Here I place the second layer. In this way, I'm going to drizzle each layer with fresh milk and after that, spread the icing. So I have completed the six layers. Now let's start icing the side. So in this way, I have given the crumb coat, that is the first coat. And this I'm going to keep it in the fridge for some time. In the meantime, here I have taken 500 gram of chopped dark chocolate. Here I have 240 ml of fresh cream. I'm going to heat the cream. The cream is hot now, so I'm going to pour it into the chopped chocolate and mix them together. You can see the chocolate is melting slowly. It's completely melted now. I've forgotten to show you that I have added around 2 tablespoons of butter. Here it is. So let's wait for the butter also to melt completely into the chocolate mixture. It's a runny ganache now. When it cools down, it will become thick. So let's stir for some time till the butter is completely melted. It's done now. I'll keep it aside to cool. So you can see once it has cooled down, it has become very thick, isn't it? So now I'm going to beat the ganache with a beater. I'm using an electric hand beater. So it has become very creamy and fluffy and even the color has changed isn't it so it's done now let's start icing the cakes i've taken out the cake from the fridge
I'm going to cover the whole cake with the chocolate ganache. Now the sides. So you can see in this way I have covered the whole cake. With the help of a bench scraper, I'm going to smoothen the sides. Here it is, it's done. Now, I'll be needing some hot water in order to give a smooth finishing to the surface of the cake. So here I've taken a pan of hot water. Into it, I have dipped the palette knife. I'll wipe out the water which is stuck in the palette knife. And since the palette knife is still warm, I'm going to smoothen the surface like this. So each time we dip the palette knife into the hot water, first we have to dry out the water. And after that, smoothen the surface like this. Now I'm going to smoothen the sides also. So in this way, we can smoothen the surface. It's done. Now I'm going to pipe some ganache on top of it. You can pipe dialogues of any design of your choice. Here I'm giving a very simple one, you can see. Let's pipe some small stars on the edge of the cake so that it will look beautiful. Now one last step that is to decorate the cake with some chocolate bars and rocher ferro. You can use any chocolate of your choice. That is up to you. Kids will really enjoy this cake because it tastes yummy and chocolatey. And they really love chocolates. So try to make this chocolatey cake. I'm sure they will enjoy it. I'm also going to use two sticks of chocolate rolls. So this is the final outcome. You can see these are the two chocolate rolls. So if you like watching my video, please give a thumbs up, share and subscribe. And yes, please do comment also. And please don't forget to press the bell icon so that whenever I upload any new videos, you will get the notifications. Thank you so much for watching my video patiently till the end.